Good day, boxing fans. Can Jackson M3 Chahuki draw off the good vibes caused by MMA star of a new UFC champion, Drikus Duplessis, and turn things around for South African boxing when he takes on Casey Kademi in the historic York Hall in Bethnal Green, London, for the vacant IBO flyweight title? On paper, it looks like a fight that Jackson Chahuki can win, but fights aren't fought on paper. Stick around and let's break down the fight. Jackson Chauke has been a mainstay in South African boxing for a long time and I always got the impression years ago that could have been a major world champion long ago if things just worked out a little bit better for him. He's got a record of 23 wins, 2 losses and 2 draws with 15 knockouts as opposed to his opponent Saturday night, Casey Kadimi, who's got a record of 10 wins, 1 loss and 2 draws, 4 of them by way of knockout. Now, if you look at Jackson Chauke, if you look at the guys he's fought, he's won on the road in Russia, he's fought a, a better quality opponent all in all than Casey Kademi did. So if you just look on those things on paper and you don't look at the tape and you know Jackson Chauke like me, you've seen him from ringside a couple of times, then you'd think, okay, this is finally the fight that, South, that a South African can win because it didn't start well for us this year we had. Uh, Arnold Barbosa Jr. who stopped Kolesani in Dongeni. In fairness to in Dongeni, he was by far up against the toughest test because Barbosa is the number 8 ranked uh, ring magazine welterweight in the world. And after that, we had Lunga Sitemela fighting Musa Golam in Abu Dhabi. And as we know, that didn't work out for Lunga as well. And now it's Jackson Chaukes chance. Now, on paper, it looks like a very winnable fight for Jackson. It looks like he should win. He's a more experienced guy. He's been in against, I think, the better opponents. He's won on the road in Russia, nonetheless. And if you look at Casey Kademi, the one loss and the two draws came against one local opponent there, and that's Ijaz Ahmed. Now, I saw the Ahmed fights as well. It was for the uh, British Junior Bantamweight title. It was nip and tuck affairs, but he couldn't quite get over the hump against Ahmed, and Ahmed has since been stopped by, by uh, Wayne Braithwaite. So, you know, we, 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 we don't have that impression that Casey Kademi is going to be some sort of world beater if we look at the, the paper in front of us. But now Jackson Chauke, there's one thing about him, he's 38 years old. Now, if you're a heavyweight, that's one thing, but if you're a flyweight, that's practically ancient. And he's had his ups and downs in his career. And by in the beginning of 2022, he was highly ranked in the WBO. He was on the way to that mandatory spot. And then he hit a speed bump when he was defending his SA Flyweight title against top prospect Pumalela Kafu. He got a draw, got two wins again. And in the end of 2022, fought, fought Kafu as a junior bantamweight and he lost a split decision. And that effectively put him back. He has since rebounded with a win against Tembalan in Norshe. But his international career was sort of put on hold because, because of that hiccup. But now he gets a chance to redeem himself and it's for the vacant IBO flyweight title, whether you consider that a world title or not, is moot. We really want, in South Africa, want Jackson to go and win this fight. We badly need a win here, but can he? Now, guys, if you've watched this far, please remember to smash that like button. Who is Casey Kademi? Now, he, to me, style-wise, he's very similar to Musa Golem that... Uh, Lunga Sitamela fought there in Abu Dhabi in the sense he's, he's a bit of an unorthodox fighter. He's an athletic sort. He likes to circle and he likes to come in with his big uppercuts and hooks sort of at mid-range. He swoops in and he throws those combinations. He's got a very good straight right. His left hook is good too. Uh, but he's not orthodox in the sen sense that he jab jabs and box behind the jabs with the straight shots like normal fighters do. He's a little bit just like Golam, a sort of a poor man's Nassim Mohamed kind of. He likes to fight in that unorthodox way. He, he doesn't really set up with a jab that much. He fights with power punches. If I look at his fight with uh, Ijaz Ahmed, um, what bothered him in those fights, you know, what, what stopped him from winning was 
he was doing well when he was at a distance and is okay when he's, when he's at mid-range. He's a distance mid-range fighter. That's where, 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 where he's good. But when Ijaz Ahmed closed the, 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 the real estate, when he came right into his grill and got the fight on the inside, that's where Kademi gets hit. And I've also noticed he, he gets some lapses of concentration, just like Gollum against, uh, you know, he, he drops his, uh, he doesn't pull his hands straight back when he throws. He leaves himself open for the counters. So I think that this is a fight Jackson Joker has got by far, I think, the, or not by far, but he's got the most winnable option in front of him from the three South Africans that fought internationally so far this year. You know, um, Kademi is not an Arnold Barbosa Jr. And he's not quite as seasoned as a Musa Golam, who also fought in Russia. So Choki has got the seasoning, he's got the amateur background, he was a South African Olympian, he's got all of those things going for him. So my initial thoughts was that Jackson Choki is going to have too much for Casey Kademi and his he's, 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 he's experience will tell. Now, how does Choki win the fight? Guys, please tell me in the comment section as well. Who do you think wins this fight? And why do you think they win? What do you think they need to do? If I look at uh, Jackson Choke, he can sometimes take a few rounds to get started. And he mustn't do that against Casey Kademi. Because let's face it, you know, Drikas Duplessis won the decision there at the UFC with one point. That's MMA. Uh, in boxing, the visiting fighter is not going to win a close decision like that on the road. Not in the UK. And let's be fair, not in South Africa either. The only place you're going to get... Uh, that fair of shake in a, in a close fight is, my, is Japan. So if it's a close fight, Jackson's not going to get decision there against Kademi. If you see, uh, if you look at his fights on YouTube, Kademi's got a fan following. The people love him. They celebrated an IBO Intercontinental win like it was an undisputed title win. So he's going to have a crowd behind him there in the York Hall. That goes without saying. And he's the house fighter. They're going to lean any which way to get Kademi the win. So Chauke, if, if I... If I look at him, if I think back to one of his fights that I was ringside uh, for a couple of years ago against Luanda and Tuanambi, an another speedy, quick, young upstart prospect. And in the first few rounds, and Tuanambi boxed rings around him, but then Chaoke closed the distance in the second half with the body shots, with the rough stuff in close, with those combinations, he, he turned the fight around and ended up winning the decision. Now against Kademi, he can't make it that close. So I think it's clear for Jackson Chaoke, he's got to use his jab to set up and get in, but then he's got to fight the fight on the, on, on the inside. Because the, in, in the mid-range, Kademi is going to be the one who's going to get his shots off better, I think. And in the long range, I think Kademi is just going to be all around him and use his speed of foot. So for Chaoke, he's got to start faster than he's used to. He's got to work that jab to keep Kademi off balance, but not stay there behind the jab, get in and, 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 and work him over, especially to the body, up close. So that's what I think that what Chaoke should do, and he's got to watch for the counter opportunities because Kademi will give him those. Now, for Casey Kademi, he's got to do what he's got to do. He's the younger man, he, so he's got, to, he's got to use his feet, he's got to use his uh, hand speed, and he, he's got to keep on the move Make the older man chase him a bit, and if he against against Ahmed, there were times when he when he got behind the jab, and I think you'll have to do this a little bit more against Jackson Choke. He's going to have to depend on his youth. He's not going to do it on experience. Who do I think is going to win? That's a that's a big thing, you know. If a fight was taking place in South Africa, um, I would I, I would have I would pick Jackson to grind out a close decision over the distance of a fight, use his experience with a lot of close rounds, a great fight, grind out a close decision like he did against Luanda and Tuanambi. Now, if it, now it is not if, it is in York or it is in England. So, is Jackson Choke going to be able to stop Casey Kademi? And is he going to be able, or is he going to be able to win clear rounds? And that's what worries me. And if you look at Casey Kademi, I think his chin is solid. Now against Ahmed, he didn't look like, uh, like he was going to get stopped there. And another important thing about Kademi to note is that he fought his career as a junior bantamweight. So he's dropping down in weight to flyweight. That is a big factor as well. I'm not sure if it's going to be a positive or a negative. It can be a big positive for Kademi because he's going to be the bigger guy there. 
So it follows that it will be stronger and you'll be a better puncher maybe of the two. And now somebody said in the comment section, thank you for that on, my, on, my, on the 7 out on Chinga, Aida and Kuriel fight. But Kuriel found the power because he was fighting in flyweight, whereas he fought a junior bantamweight for some of his other career fights. Now, could this be a case of Casey Kademi? Because he's not a guy with a huge knockout. Ten wins, four knockouts, you know, one, one loss and two draws. So he's not a guy with a massive uh, knockout ratio. You know, he, he, he gets rid of a sort of lower tier journeyman opponents. I don't think he's, he, he's going to stop Jackson Choke. Choke's chin has, has, has held up for the most part. But will he have enough power so that he troubles Choke enough and makes him, makes him tentative at the lower weight? That's something that I'm, what I'm worried about. Alternatively, it can also be that Kademi has killed himself getting into flyweight. And in that case, Choke should just work him over and wait for him to fade. Can go either or. So we'll have to see what, what Kademi looks like at the weigh-in. So if I'm Chauke, as I've said, start quicker, come in behind the jab, watch for countering opportunities, but work that body of Casey Kademi as much as he can. Kademi's got to do what, what he's got to do. He's got to keep the fight at mid-range where he can throw those combinations, step around and, and get out. And uh, he's got to avoid getting into a brawl on the inside with Jackson Chauke. So it's gonna, he's going to have to be the ring general. In the end, I think... This is a very winnable fight for Jackson Chauke. It's a much more winnable fight than Ndongeni against Barbosa or even Sitamela against Gollum. A little bit more winnable than the Gollum fight. And, but we've had Jackson Chauke being, being well to a draw, uh, a losing a split decision to Pumalele Kafu, who didn't have many fights behind the belt. But Kafu, also a guy I know well, he's a special kind of fighter. I would not be shocked to see Pumalele Kafu in the future win a major world title belt. I think it's possible. It always depends who's, who's in front of you, of course, you know. But Pumela Letkafu got, uh, got, got, got the win against Jackson Chauke because I think he's rather special. Very quick hands and feet. The, the, the question is, is Casey Kademi that special enough to go over against Jackson Chauke? I think um, he's got youth on his side. He's got the home crowd on his side there in England. And I don't think that Jackson Chaoke is going to be able to stop him. You know, I thought when I was just looking at the records that Jackson could stop this guy. He's a young upstart. But when I looked at these fights there against, uh, against, against Ahmed, Kademi can go hard 12 rounds. He, can, he does have hard to get through sticky positions. He, he, that, that, those three fights, even though it didn't go his way quite, is going to serve him well there, the experience. So I think... Casey, it's going to be a great fight. I think it's going to be well worth watching. I think Casey Kademi is going to be competitive enough and keep the rounds close enough and that youth will, will be served and he'll do enough to get the decision on the judges card against Jackson Chauke. But I won't count Chauke out. I think he's very live in this fight and it's a fight that, that he can win. But if I, have to go, if I have to go and put my head on a block, I've got to say that Casey Kademi wins a decision here at the York Hall. I hope I'm wrong, of course. We really need a win for South African boxing at this stage. But guys, tell me in the comment section what you think. And to everybody who subscribed, thank you very much. And please remember, if you like the content, to subscribe. And also share it on Twitter, on your boxing groups. I would greatly appreciate that as well. And that's what I think. I hope I'm wrong. I hope Jackson Choke pulls it off. We are pulling for you, Jackson, to win this thing. And until we see each other again, remember to keep those hands up.